guys, day seven. Every time I put my fingers up, I literally forget how many to put up on this hand. <laughs> Soon we're gonna run out of fingers. <laughs> Good morning, happy Vlogmas day seven. Let's get this show on the road, mostly because I'm pretty sure I've convinced Zach to take us to the D-O-G-P-A-R-K this morning. I'm excited to get Lulu out and get her some energy out. She needs to do that. But we are off to the races today. I have already had all of the things. I've had my first fueling, my celery juice, my coffee. I am awake and ready. I'm looking directly into the sun right now. So just know that I love you guys because I'm probably gonna be blind after this. <laughs> I also just want to let you guys in on a small piece of the behind the scenes of Vlogmas that I don't think you guys know and I was like hesitant to talk about it on Vlogmas. I don't know why but I just kind of was. Um, just so you guys know for the last, I mean how many days has it been honey? 12. Today's day 12. 12 days, okay? Zach's been sick and it's been, you know, a whole thing going on with us behind the scenes trying to make sure that he gets better and he has medicine and blah, blah, blah. But in the midst of all of that, we have been sleeping separately, okay? And I have been sleeping on our couch, which folds out into a bed and would be a totally fine bed for, you know, a 12 year old. <laughs> A 12 year old whose family traveled to the mountains for the weekend and you know it was just like a one-time thing right No, I've been sleeping on this couch for like 11 days right and um, in the midst of vlogmas and all of this my back has been killing me and it's been terrible sleep because you can only sleep on half of the couch otherwise you're in the crease and it's been like either super cold or super hot I've only had a blanket it's just been like a whole nightmare for the last like 11 days at night for me and obviously we had no idea it was gonna go on for that long because we thought the sickness was gonna be like two three days but because this whole thing has just prolonged and prolonged prolonged I was like honey I don't know if I can do this anymore so a huge reason why I washed the sheets yesterday was because I was determined. I was like, I'm sleeping in bed tonight. I am sleeping in this bed tonight. You're getting better. And even if something happens, whatever, I'd rather sleep in my bed. <laughs> even if I get a little sick, like that's where my head was at. You guys, I slept in my own bed last night. Oh my God, I feel like an entirely new woman. Like I cannot even explain to you. And this is your sign that if you are not getting good sleep, you have no idea how much that is truly affecting you. And we don't even think our bed in this camper is that comfortable, but I have never been more grateful to sleep in an uncomfortable bed my entire life. <laughs> So I got a good night's sleep last night. We slept in a little bit. It was so cozy and I feel like a completely different person right now. So we are getting Vlogmas Day 7 started on the right foot. I slept in brand new clean sheets. I slept in a cozy bed. We had heat last night. It was just like so great. It's the little things you guys, especially in RV life. It's these little things that really make the biggest <laughs> difference. So anyway, happy Vlogmas Day 7. If you're brand new to my channel, please come hang out for a while. We're gonna be doing all of the Vlogmas things. Plus we're gonna be showing what I eat in a day on my Optivia 4 and 2 active plan. We're just gonna hang out. We're gonna have a good time today. I've got a couple calls. I've got a couple things that I wanna get done, but either way, we're gonna do it together. So headed off to the DOG PARK and let's get this day started. <laughs> to my RV bathroom. <laughs> you know, I multiple times have thought about like, what is it gonna be like if I try to take a clip in the bathroom? Where the heck am I gonna put the camera? You're sitting on top of all of the products in my medicine cabinet. It's great, it's great. And I got like, kind of like a little lighting coming in. It's uh, mostly natural from the roof, but uh, we'll take it. Anyway, just wanted to pop in. Just finished up my first protein of the day and took a shower and guess who put makeup on? Yes, we love it. Now it's time to take out the heatless curls and um, is it 
bad that I'm getting like way too comfortable in these things because I went to the dog park in my Hateless Curls and I saw multiple people. I think we're reaching a new level of not caringness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think I saw, I'm pretty sure I saw a reel recently of a girl who went to the airport in her Heatless Curls and actually did the entire flight and like went the entire day until the thing that she needed to do in her Heatless Curls just up. And I'm like, yes, get it. Like honestly, in full support of that because um, the longer you wait, the more they stay good for longer. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't know, I pretty much just had them in all day. And um, I feel like you need to just like act like you have it all together and act like they're just meant to be there and nobody's gonna question it. You know? So uh, I'm gonna pull them out with you guys real quick because it's honestly just so satisfying every single time. Look at that one! Oh my God. All right, I'm seriously so sold on these, you guys. If you guys have not jumped on the train, take it from the girl who I'm pretty sure I waited like a year before I actually made the plunge. And um, I was like, no, that'll never work on my hair, blah -de blah Yeah, just try it. And like this kit, I'm pretty sure this kit was like $14. Honestly, best investment I've made in a very long time. <laughs> like seriously. Oh my God. Oh God. I, uh, they have it on Amazon. Honestly, you can find these pretty much anywhere these days, but this one is silk, satin, silk. Anyway, it's a good material to sleep in. So the curls are out. What are we doing? We need to uh, zhuzh a little bit. I usually have some sort of remnants of dry shampoo up here to work with. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Comment below if you are also a dry shampoo every day kind of girl. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Shout out to the Heatless Curls! I'm just saying! Also, I forgot to mention, um, did you guys see how I swapped out my plate and my dash to the snowflake this morning? <sighs> I just feel like I, I'm gonna go through phases. Like, I did the gingerbread man, and now we're doing the snowflake, and then I'm saving the Christmas tree for when we get closer to Christmas. I'm so excited. All right, the curls are curling. I am going to get a couple things done and we've got some fun things coming up because I have an idea for tonight's Christmas treat and uh, I think you guys are gonna like it too. So I'm gonna get a couple things done and I will check back in with you in just a little bit. Okay, you guys, so I had a couple of calls and I got a couple things done on the computer and now it's time to prep our Christmas treat of the night. And it's a little early for us to be prepping, but this entire hack takes like three hours and honestly more because I'm not gonna eat it like right away. I wanna have it like before bed with our Christmas movie because that's the vibe of Vlogmas this year. But I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping it now because it takes time. I also made myself a creamy chocolate shake so I can sip on that in the meantime. And then I have another serving of protein that I have before I actually have this fueling. So we're just gonna prep it now, get it started and we'll be able to enjoy it later on. We're gonna be making one of my personal favorite Christmas recipes. You guys might've seen it like last year on my channel. It is peppermint bark. However, <laughs> um, I don't actually have all of the things that I need to make this recipe, and one of them being the Optavia brownie fueling. That, honestly, would probably be the best way to make this fueling hack, but I don't have that on me, and I can't just go to the store and buy it, so we're gonna compromise. We're gonna try to make my peppermint bark fueling with another one of my Optavia creamy chocolate shakes. I am pretty, pretty convinced that this will do the same thing that the brownie would. Brownie might taste a little bit better because it's a brownie, but I think we can do it with a creamy chocolate shake. I also do not have my candy mold. I might still have it, but I don't know where it is. So I'm gonna be doing it on, I don't have parchment paper, but it would be parchment that I would do this on and I don't have parchment, so I'm gonna be using another one of my air fryer liners. I'm gonna be using that to make the base of my chocolate bark and then we'll freeze it and then we'll add the actual like peppermint layer on top. So let's make that together, see how it turns out and pop it in the freezer so it can do its thing and then we can taste it tonight. Okay, first things first, insert your brownie in this part of the recipe if you have one of the Optavia Decadent Chocolate Brownies. And if you do, I typically would strain out the white chocolate chips or the Greek yogurt chips, but I don't have that brownie. So we're gonna be using our creamy chocolate shake today. And first off, we need to add our water. So we're gonna do three tablespoons of water. Three tablespoons. And now we're gonna add in over the top our creamy chocolate shake mix and mix it up. All right, so far it's coming together. I was nervous about this, you guys, you don't even know. I was like, I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. <laughs> All right, it's coming together. We've got more of like a dough 
kind of mixture. And this is our shake, you guys. This is like a protein shake that we just added less water to. All right, ready to go. I've got a cutting board here just to make sure that my mixture kind of stays on a flat surface when I put it in the freezer. And then I've got my air fryer liner over the top. I'm going to go ahead and plop my creamy chocolate shake mix on top of my liner. Like so. Here's the last bit of it. And then I'm just gonna take my utensil and try to spread it out a little bit, but try to make sure all of it stays together. We don't want any like random two parts that are too thin because this is gonna be the base of our peppermint bark. All right, so here's the base of our peppermint bark with our creamy chocolate shake. I'm gonna go ahead and plop this in the freezer for at least one hour just to get it hard and make sure that it's all solidified and then we'll do the top coating. Okay, so while that sets, I think it's time for Miss Lulu to get a walk in and me to get some steps. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my EAAs and we'll head out for a quick walk. almost two hours. You wanna just have it in there for at least one hour, the base of our peppermint bark. But now it's time for us to assemble our top layer of our peppermint bark with our Greek yogurt, and then we'll spread it over and let it sit in the freezer for a little bit more. So here's how we're gonna do it. I've got my digital scale here, plop my bowl on top, and then turn it on. And I'm gonna be adding in three ounces of my Chobani Zero Sugar Milk and Cookies Greek Yogurt. This is actually gonna count as a quarter of my leanest for the day. So this is gonna be protein. So I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit and I'm gonna do three ounces. Perfect. And now we need to add in our peppermint. So we're gonna add in a quarter teaspoon of our peppermint extract, get it all minty. Be really careful, you don't wanna overdo it. And this is also like, honestly, based on taste. If you want more or less, go for it. We just use so little of it, like I don't really even count it. But if you go all in on the peppermint, you go for it, girl. And now we're gonna mix it up. It is looking good. So we've got our peppermint layer ready to go. And now I've just pulled out our base chocolate shake layer. We're gonna take our peppermint Greek yogurt and just layer it on the top. Just like that. Use my utensil and spread it a little bit. Typically my base layer is a little bit longer so it's not as like thick of the white yogurt on top, but I think it'll still work. Here's hoping. <laughs> All right. Now, if you're using your decadent chocolate brownie, this is where I would sprinkle my strained, separated Greek yogurt chips and place them over the top, but we don't have that because we used a chocolate shake. So for the fun part, I'm just gonna add a little bit of my Christmas sprinkles right over the top. You guys saw that I got this like variety pack from Target the other day, and I'm gonna use my favorite little dots just to sprinkle right over the top for one condiment, like so. Does that not look so cute already? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna pop this back in the freezer for about two hours or more, depending on, you know, what you got going on that day. But this is gonna be at least two hours in the freezer just to make sure that it sets and then we can break up our peppermint bark. Okay, so now we need to figure out what we're gonna do for the remaining protein of my second lean and green for the day. Fear not, I've already figured it out. So, because we've already used a quarter leanest in our Greek yogurt and our peppermint bark, I technically need three quarters leanest. Now, just so you know, when you start getting into these like crazy calculations, just letting you know, make sure you know what you're doing or text your coach or whatever it is because this is where things can tend to go wrong. But I feel like this isn't my first rodeo, I kinda 
know what I'm doing at this point, so this is how I will be breaking it up. That Greek yogurt on my peppermint bark is one quarter leanest, and technically, I always have these on hand for these situations, you guys. Two Chobani Zero Sugar yogurts are going to count as a full leanest for my day right? So one is half. This would be the second half. So if I did one and a half Chobani Zero Sugar Yogurt drinks, that would be three quarters leanest for my day, right? And we are good to go on that because I stock up on these for a reason, right? So I'm going to do one and a half. I'll probably have one full of my peaches and cream and then half of my strawberry cheesecake, mostly because you guys know that the peaches and cream is my favorite. But I will have one and a half of my Chobani Zero Sugars. I can save the rest for another day or maybe if I get really, really hungry later, I can do that. But that's going to complete my leanest for the day. Now, if you're doing the math, technically need two healthy fats if I'm choosing from the top leanest category, right? So one healthy fat was already in my coffee this morning. I had three tablespoons of half and half. Next up, I need one more healthy fat. Now, the easiest healthy fat, instead of me like trying to like drink dressing or, you know, find a way to, to slap some sour cream on a fueling or something like that. The easiest way to get a quick healthy fat in if you need an extra one for the day is if you look at the top of the list, there are quite a few nuts that count as a healthy fat, including almonds, okay? I'm actually gonna have eight eight almonds as my second healthy fat for the day. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that one's looking a little interesting. Okay, perfect. We got eight almonds right here. I'm gonna go ahead and have these with my Chobani Zero Sugar Yogurts. We're gonna wait on our peppermint bark. Zach and I are gonna hang out a little bit now that this guy's finally feeling a little bit better. But uh, yeah, can't wait to check out our peppermint bark. So stay tuned. But also you guys our peppermint bark has frozen and I was a little worried because I didn't know how it's gonna work out with the shake but I think it's gonna work let's see if we can get the parchment off looks like it's happening perfect there we go and now we just need to chop up our peppermint bark oh it's pretty tough it's pretty frozen oh there we go look how pretty Perfection. Look at that. So pretty. Optavia peppermint bark with a creamy chocolate shake. I mean, we freaking did it. We gotta taste it just to make sure that it tastes good, but I was mostly concerned about it freezing properly. So let's taste it. Chocolatey on the bottom, icy on the top. The Greek yogurt with the peppermint when you freeze it this way basically tastes like ice cream. How can you go wrong guys? This is so cool. I'm glad we were able to recreate this. And you wanna know what's cooler? I get to eat this entire thing for one fueling. One fueling, you guys. This is technically gonna count as one fueling, one quarter leanest, and one condiment for my day. Don't knock it till you try it. And I would recommend using the brownie, but if you don't have a decadent chocolate brownie, looks like the creamy chocolate shake will work too. So, how fun. I am gonna have to outro this vlog real quick because this is about to melt. That's the other thing, is it isn't perfect peppermint bark, meaning it's not straight up chocolate. We froze it this way, so it will melt. <laughs> you have to eat it within a certain window, but it's still so Christmassy, so festive. I'm just like, I'm so excited. So good. All right. I gotta go eat this before it melts. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me today on Vlogmas Day 7. This was so much fun and even more fun in store for tomorrow. We're gonna hang out all day tomorrow too and we're gonna continue the festive, healthy holiday magic. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you guys wanna see a full list of my calculations for the day on my 4 and 2 active plan, I will leave it right here. Otherwise, you guys all have a fabulous rest of your night. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you tomorrow morning. Bye, guys.